Okay, so here we go. Let's try this video once more. So we're going to start with our three minutes. And then we're going to add the triangle sequence on the end of that necessary warm up. Three stretches. Reaching into it, stretching out, aligning. Relax down, slightly widen the feet. Still parallel, relax, let go, let go, let go. Three breaths. the knees and roll. One bone of the spine on top of the other. Stretch up right arm. Soften left shoulder. Sorry, wrong way round. Lifting left arm, relaxing right. Relax over. Let go, let go, let go. Stretch out. Lift up, stretch up, release back. Other side, lift, stretch, relax, left side. Over we go, let go, let go, let go. Stretch out, lift, reach up. Final rotation, stretch out, separating shoulder blades, spread wide, turn to the right, hips trying to remain facing forward, little stretch out, back to the middle, and release, other side, lift, separate shoulder blades, Close them up. Turn to the left. And stretch out. Back to the middle. And release. Clasp the hands behind you. Roll back the shoulders. Called yoga mudra. Little edge out of heels. Relax forward. Straight back. Straight leg. Let the head relax, let the shoulders rotate, let go, let go, let go. Two more breaths, giving the legs plenty of time to stretch and gravity to work on the spine, separating the vertebrae. Unroll head, shoulders, chest. And lift. Now straight back to come up. Back bend. Lift up. Reach into it. Now just relax. Man. I like to bring the hands together in the prayer mudra. The elbows soften and widen a little bit. Spine is still relaxing back. Whatever level your spine is happy to go with. Straighten the knees. Lift up the rib cage. Stretch the arms up. Keep the head between the arms. And relax down. Feet a bit wider than hip width apart. Toes turned out, 10 to 2. Stretching forward. This is to strengthen knees. Stretch out. Bend the knees, point them same direction as the toes, so you keep the alignment of the knee joints. Hinge joint doesn't need to twist. Let the head relax. Let the arms sweep up. Maybe bring first finger and thumb together, creating Kanamudra. A 
roll the head. Stretch forward with the arms, ease the weight off the tailbone as you stretch forward, push through the knees, imagine you're picking that football up and dropping it behind your head. Bring the feet together and let's go for our balance. Lifting in breath, releasing out breath. Prana mudra, little finger, ring, uh, ring finger touching the thumb, said to help with balance. Two more. These mudras that we're now bringing into our practice connect the energies in the energy body, creating certain circuits of energy that are health giving and invigorating. Last one. I'm going to bring another balance into it rather than just lifting the leg this time. Let's stretch the arms up and draw the leg, right leg, up the left. Stretch up, this is called the tree posture. Stretch up, grow strong, tall, straight and lower. Try not to lose your balance like that. Try and lower just as slowly and controlled as you went up. Stretch up, grow tall, and release down. So now we come into the triangle sequence that we're gonna add on. This is much stronger, similar stretches, but much, much deeper. So we're going to stretch out. This is a classic posture, triangle posture in yoga. Turn out right foot. Lift the ribcage. Shift out to the right. Now just lower right arm down, left arm up. Try and keep them in alignment. Don't lean on that right leg. Keep the palm in front of the leg. Both palms out, three breaths. Stretch up. Now this time we're bringing the arm down alongside the head. We're aiming for a straight line from left hip bone to left fingertip called extended triangle. Three breaths. Still no weight on that lower arm. Turn the head, look towards right foot. Let that left arm drop down. Rest it on the floor. If you can't reach the floor with the leg, right leg straight, then bend it so that you've got good contact and firm stability. Whole point about triangle is to give you stability and strength. Right palm facing. We're gonna sweep that arm out, keep your eyes on the right palm. Take the breath in as you start the sweep out. As you lift up to the ceiling, let the breath out. Three breaths. And lower on an out breath. Bend that front knee. Lift the back foot. Push against that heel. So you feel a strength in the back leg and the weight is centered. Unroll the head, look straight out in front of you. Now lift the arms out till they come alongside the head. Push through the front knee, ease your way back up. 
Again, a three breath sequence, stretch up in breath. Sink down, out breath. Again. Stretch up, slowly straightening the knee. Release the arms, turn to the front. Clasp the hands behind you, little relaxation now. Draw the chest up, roll the shoulders back. Straighten the arms if you can, helping to keep your back straight. Bending from the hips, forward bend. Let the arms ease over towards the floor in front of you. Three breaths again. You're doing a three breath sequence. Each time you breathe out, let your arms give a bit more. Unroll the head, shoulders, chest, so we're back to that straight line. Head in line with the spine, not tipping up. Push through the feet. Slowly back up. Stretch up in breath. Turn out left foot. Nice soft shoulders, arms. It's as if you're resting on the air. Flying. Lift the rib cage. Shift out to the left. Now slowly rotate. Left hand down. Right hand up, nicely in line, shoulders in line with each other, arms in line. Three breaths. And that top arm comes down alongside the head. Remember, we're striving for that straight line. From fingertips to hip bone. Three breaths. Slowly release down. Bend the knee if you need to. Hand on the floor. Left palm facing you. Ease out the back heel slightly. Breath in, sweep the arm out, shoulder level. Breath out, take it up to the ceiling. And then do your three breaths once more. And lower on the out breath. Bend that front knee. Lift back heel. Push against it. You need that strength, that stability on the back leg. It's almost straight. Stretch the arms out in front of you. Ease your way up. As you breathe out, relax a bit. Again. And to the front, release. Hands behind you, roll back the shoulders, forward bend. Three breaths, once more. You could do a two breath sequence or even a one breath sequence. But the three breaths gives you a chance to really work into the stretching. Unroll the head, shoulders, chest. Pull that push through the feet, the legs, quite strong on the legs. Take a full stretch up. He'll toe the feet together. Turn 
a long ways onto your mat, take a full stretch up and just ease down into squat. Just nice and easy. Ease your seat down. Keep your knees bent halfway to straight legs. Slowly unroll. Rest the arms alongside the body. Just allowing the spine to relax, straight, perfectly aligned. Just allowing the energy to flow. When you get used to doing your yoga, you can actually feel the energy flowing around your body. Stay as long as you have time for. And then to finish, come to a seated position. Whatever's comfortable, can be kneeling or seated, can have a little padding under your seat. We're just going to take a full stretch up, align and release. Once more, this time with Namaskara Mudra, so we're lifting, hands are coming together, prayer position. As you breathe in, feel the alignment of your body. Everything perfectly balanced. Come down to the brain. Take a couple of breaths to the brain as if you're blowing up a balloon. Taking energy to your brain equally, both sides. Left brain, right brain in perfect balance. Down to your heart center, your emotions, deep feelings, your truth, your love. Perfect balance of give and take the whole rhythm of life. Even if you always are giving, you become depleted and you are actually not allowing other people to do their share of giving. So that give and take, one of the great rules of living happily. Thank you everybody, Om Shanti. I hope you enjoyed the practice today. Thank you.